Hey guys, in previous video, you'll see that um, I've made a riser ISO. And what you get is an riser out. So if you go one up, you have here the riser built. That's where it's built. And here's the out folder. So you get this information, uh, this ISO. And what do you do with ISOs? You go and load it up. Whoa, what a wallpaper, right? And you load it up with a virtual machine. In this case, I'd like to use VirtualBox. So this thing, choose a disk file, go to the home directory, scroll down, find a riser out, put it in. It is called Arch Linux because, hey, it's Arch. <laughs> and the date, and that's it, right? But it is, it is Arch Linux, but it contains a folder, a script. So let's um, first boot up. With Arch, you can be a bit too quick. It's not when um, this this um, stops scrolling, when the, the, the TTY stops doing things, that is actually stopping, like now, right? He's still busy. So don't be too fast to go ahead and type all kinds of things because the Pac-Man initialization is still ongoing. And if you're, if you're too fast, well, you can't install because Pacman is not ready. Okay, that said, load keys. This is better for me. BE Latin 1. Enter. Okay. Um, CD root LS. This is your standard um, Arch Linux ISO plus two folders LS and LS dev. Dev is for me for development. But basically, all you need to know is you type Alice, four letters, and off it goes. Do you want the latest, uh, the last GitHub code in? That means you don't need to build the ISO every single day or every single month. It's just at some point in time you make this ISO, but the Alice, if it gets updated, right, we push it to the GitHub, and now we're going to pull it not necessary and as, as it is already up to date shall we start the alias script yes or no from that moment on everything will be deleted right everything is gone afterwards so it's gonna clean everything up whatever is there it's gonna be zapped i think uh wiped anyway it's gone right and now he's gonna follow an script a automated scripts created by our guy def whoa 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 what's the name again <laughs> pico i call him always pico pico def right so he's making all these scripts i'm applying the script to arch in an iso and that's it you can of course do an arch links installation archlinks.org and then go grab code or git clone something that you made yourself uh, stuff like that or use arch install but this is the, the selling point i think this is once you set everything up the parameters you like i want to have butter fs i want to have x4 i want to have um, a swap no swap a big swap small swap right anything also software i want i don't know Firefox and Vivaldi and all that and I don't know I want Plasma I know I want XFC I want Mate right it is all there to just say and type in a file and now once you've made your decisions like I've made my decisions here in a riser it's just executes right you can go for dinner you can and come back and everything is installed and there you go and then I would run and we'll do it together the Arclix Nemesis script, which gets more stuff in. But this is the basic stuff that they say, decision making, right? Like this X4, ButterFS, F2FS, XFS, JFS, choose, RiseRS, don't forget oh, that one, right? It's, um, and you see there is already some software that I would say I'll install it on any system I'm on. So Ubuntu, doesn't matter, right? Any system I want to have Firefox, for example, or Sublime Text, etc. RG, rip crap, I want those. Tools, melt. So things that 
I will always install whatever system I'm on, I can immediately put it in here as a parameter. So that's one of the things um, that is interesting. Uh, we have more, I mean, in the sense that we have a lot of stuff and we go, well, ariser.eu is here and we have a lot of what ifs and this is its site, right? You can download this, the ISO test it out play around with it decide hey that's something for me then it's better you start building things right you get create a github with your own variables your own ls code with your own choices and off off you go and build your own personalized iso from scratch well copy paste right it's not really from scratch so there are ideas that you say okay i can do this as a project there's also ALCI uh, dot online, I think. Yeah, buying these things. So this is another way of doing things, simplifying the Arch Linux installation, but this is Calamaris. You did not see anything, right? There is no Calamaris here. We're already rebooting, I see. So let's focus on this. And there's also Carly, which is again, Calamaris way of installing things. So there are alternatives good right there are alternatives if at some point in time calamaris won't work anymore or they stop with the project nobody's gonna fork it or continue there you are right we have the arch install on arch Linux, and we have this one and as you see you have here no extras i mean update won't work no aliases there's nothing here three lines just arch uh, so let's get Neofetch in to have a look at the beautiful logo that they provide Neofetch. Voila, there it is, okay. So and then it's up to you. In my case, I say sudo pacman minus s git. And then we git clone. Well, actually, I'm going to make a directory data first. And then we're going to go in data. And there I'm going to put git clone https slash slash github.com slash my name is Eric Dubois and you can grab my code and analyze it and change it anyway you see fit so in here data Arclix Nemesis open in terminal so now we are inside Arclix Nemesis strange right oh, well, always fun to do that <laughs> anyway here is the data, here's the folder, that's it. And all I say is run zero. And it's gonna check if I'm on Ubuntu, it'll do something different. If I'm on Linux Mint, it's gonna be another thing, right? If I'm, I'm on Endeavor OS, it's gonna do something else. So the slider, it, it can't go to the side here. Those things, I, I hate those things. So when I go to the side, it, well, I want half of it, right? I don't, Basically, I suppose I'm a tiling guy. Uh, so, voila. So, we just wait. This project runs. Uh, Arclix Nemesis starts with this. Have a look what's in here. It's going to say do this and that. Remove this. Basically, this is the core. Uh, first, remove all kind of. Um, I was almost going to say S H I T. And uh, then you keep on installing stuff and also the personal stuff that starts here. So design or whatever, I'm on Archman, I want this, I'm on Riser, I want the OS, I want this, Garuda, I want that, All right? I'm gonna make that particular um, distro nice. Well, my nice, and that's the point. Stay in control on whatever system you are, even on Ubuntu, those were the last projects these days had some fun going to Debian and, and others, RPMs. So you can see here some of my uh, projects. I had this idea. What if Arch stops? And we need to move this chat WM on which I've been on for almost two years now. Where can I go, right? And then we went to Mint, we went to Nobara, uh, we went to all kinds of things and you find souls in here. So yeah, Ubuntu and then of course Mint somewhere up there with alphabetically Mint. 
so yes we played around and there's Debian and Fedora so yeah point is Arc Linux main thing is stay in control do whatever you want and take control over anything out there Linux based of course that's the point and um, one of the things I've done six years or so ago was like taking the i3 configuration and move that one around right I was always an i3 and said is it possible to get that on Solus and on Tergos back in the days right so yeah so much is possible as long as somebody explains it to you and that's basically the 4,000 videos that we have made on Adaglinx and the 6,000 or 10,000 before that and Linux Mint on Ubuntu or so many distros on Tergos as well right so let's pause the video because I can keep talking you know that but let's just wait for this thing to end boot up and see what we get so it's finished he knows it's not on reborn OS he knows it's not on big Linux but it is on arch so I'll do some things here as well we're on, on a riser he knows and in the meantime I'm not using these anymore so let's see, uh, have a look and what do we get? So first of all, log out. Mm, yeah, let's do a restart. We've done a bunch of things. Let's see. So system D, okay, sure. All about choices as usual. Let's see, uh -huh. variety is there, telegram is installed. This is an installation for real metal. I mean, something I'd like to use. So all of that is loading up. Okay, so we've got um, this. Arch Linux tweak tool is installed, Firefox, XFCE, all applications may be better do it like this. Arch Linux kernel is there. We can't drag it anymore. We used to be able to do that. It was so nice. Why did they remove that, right? Why did they remove that? So menu width, maybe a little bit more. This is going way too slow. And when you hide a little bit more, close. Ah, oh, fine. So applications, this is what we get. Okay, a little bit slower maybe, just by category. This, you can freeze the video. Should make another icon I see. Well, yeah, we create our own icons. Create is a big word, but make sure that all is good. And then this one. And then maybe that one and there we go let's have a beautiful wallpaper because this is nothing now this thing works or does not work it depends on what you have as scripts that's the thing right are the scripts okay do the scripts work anyway uh, super x I can log out and we have this as Lugo as look chat WM so not as I've made a light M choice there and here we go right we have all these things Alex appearance make this nice dark dark of course I can theme a candy beauty I can theme apply close stop stop enter there you go All right that's the thing i'd like to have fine and then there is of course still new fetch and it's up to you to make everything work to make um, design wise and icon wise and whatever you want to have like super d it's working super d 
and super shift D is working as well and super shift X is there as well so yeah it's um, a great way of learning about an operating system and um, I suggest you have a look at it play around with this Arcanix Nemesis scripts let's just close it nice voila but we started with a riser and the same thing can be done with the Sierra ISO which then opts for plasma so you get a pure arch plasma and then you go theme it and change it and I'll run my Arcanix Nemesis script right and it will change my terminal to blurred and transparent and stuff like that enjoy Linux enjoy Arcanix enjoy all our variations ideas what ifs Carly Ariser ALCI and of course Arcanix cheers